here for our Saturday night live stream. Sorry that we're a little bit late. We've had some connectivity issues um, and hopefully this will be all good for the rest of the night. So hi to everybody who's jumped in to join us. I see there's quite a few of you here waiting already on this cold and winty, wintry evening. I'm getting the thumbs up from the boss man over there. So everything is good. Hey, so hi there, Di and Bonnie, hey, Kerry, Julie, Ray, Shirley, Sonia, Linda, Scott. Lots and lots of people are in. I noticed Carol and uh, Lisa have joined us from the States. Hey, Lisa. Oh, and Chris. Hey to Chris. Howdy, Mr. Wes. How are we all going tonight? Are we windy cold and windy in your parts of the world? Because it's bloody cold up here. We've got the fire going tonight. Unfortunately, it's not in this room. Nope. We might have to change locations for streaming <laughs> from next week. All right, guys. Great. All right. So it looks like it's holding. Everything's good. Everyone can see me. Beautiful. All right, so the weave we're doing tonight is half Persian four in one. Hey, Gail, good to see you. Um, lovely up there, Wes, beautiful. Not so, love. well, you know, I'm not minding the weather, but the wind is a, <laughs> wind is a bit of a worry but with, with all the, much worse with all the gum trees. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Well, yeah, they're not having much luck down there at all. All right, so as I was saying, uh, Half Persian 4 and one is our weave tonight. This is one of my favorite weaves to wear. Um, it and Full Persian are pretty much, uh, not Full Persian, um, JPL, are pretty much all I wear as far as Chamel jewelry is concerned. Um, so I thought I would share making it. It's a, uh, look, it's classed. Some people, some people put the Half Persians in as difficult weaves. I don't think it's that difficult starting it just like any other weave is a little tricky once you've got the start going um, there shouldn't be any problem Jesus. <laughs> thanks babes <laughs> all right yeah I'm with you Ray I love half version four on one and the thinner the gauge and the denser the weave the more sexier it becomes all right so I've got quite a few samples uh, weaved up to show you guys I'll flip it over to the other camera and we'll make a start. Get my pliers out of the way. All right, so this particular weave is um, a little forgiving in the sizes. So I suggested sizes along the, the line, I think it was 8.25 for the 14 gauge about a 6 for the 16 gauge, 5.25 for the 18 and 4.25 for the 20. You don't have to stick with those sizes. As I said, it does tend to be a little forgiving. So for 14 gauge tonight, uh, this is so 14 gauge AWG, which is 1.6 millimeter diameter. Um, oh my God, Chris, can you get the cat down from up there, please? Yeah. Sorry, guys, the cat's just jumped up on the case behind me where all my breakables are. <clears throat> it's after a dragonfly. All right, sorry. So 14 gauge AWG, 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. This is 5 sixteenths, which is 7.94 mils. So 8 mils in metric uh, works really well in 14 gauge, even though the calculated AR comes out to about 8.5, 8.25. In 16 gauge, this one is 6 mils. Um, six mil ID. You could also do, um, I would imagine, a quarter inch. I don't have a piece in a quarter inch, but I imagine that a quarter inch would uh, come up all right with the 16 gauge. 18 gauge, this sample piece is the about the 5.25 millimeter, but I also have one in 3 sixteenths of an inch, which is 4.76 mils ID. So you can see it's just a little bit tighter, but it still has all the flexibility and the sexiness that you want. So it is a little forgiving. You don't have to stick to uh, set ones. 
So this is the 20 gauge that I wrote, wove up in the suggested 4.25 mil. And then I was working on this piece today. I haven't got it finished. But this is a 20 gauge with the 530 seconds or 3.97 mil, so about four centimeters. So again, you can see it's just a little bit tighter, but still weaves up really well. So you can have a bit of play with your ring sizes, have a bit of fun with it and create uh, slightly different looks. You can then also go for your square wire rings. So in our AA, the two sizes that works best for that is um, 16 gauge 1.2. This is a quarter inch, 6.35 millimeters. And this is the 14 gauge 3 eighths of an inch, 9.53 mils. Um, I'm not a fan of the 14 gauge. As I said, I like my uh, half version 4 and 1. <laughs> Small, <laughs> small and sexy. All right, so that's some ideas for you. As I said, uh, have a bit of play with the sizes, have a bit of fun with it. You don't have to stick with uh, the sizes that are recommended or the calculated sizes. Um, you know, experiment a little bit and see what you get. Uh, I've got actually Scott an 18 gauge, oh, oh, sorry, yeah, uh, no, 20 gauge white and yellow sterling silver and yellow gold uh, bracelet of my own that I made many many years ago um, and it does it looks absolutely sexy all right so I did forget to tell you guys to prepare your rings tonight uh, so I apologize for that you'll need about half of your rings pre-closed so for anybody that's weaving along you might want to uh, quickly whip up some closed rings you want four to start with and a couple else to a couple more to start weaving. Silver, so we currently don't manufacture our square wire rings. That's something we hope to do in the future. Um, the BA and the stainless steel are from a different provider than the people that provide the AA. So that's why there's two different measurements. Um, the ones that are measured in letters will be uh, being phased out and will be uh, once we hope to start winding our own we'll be listing them under on the the mandrels that they've been wound on so that's why there's difference in in the way that we have them listed the AAs have always been listed under mandrel measurements the BA and the square are the ones that are listed with the letters and they're the ones that are being phased out Okay, all right, so I'll make a start. So you take up four of your pre-closed rings and you stack them so that they're all stacked up behind each other. And I just put a twist tie through them to hold them loosely in place. But you do want them to stack up behind each other like this. And then taking up an opened ring. We want to take that open ring and go through the two rings on the right, so down through the back, and then we want to twist it around and come up through the two rings on the left. So I'll just show you that again with them stacked up behind each other. We're coming down one, two through the backs of these two rings coming around the front and coming up the front of the two rings on the left. And then we close that ring up. Okay, so your work should look like this. Okay, the next one we want to take an open ring and taking one of our closed rings, pop that on there, that becomes ring number one. We want to come down through our first ring here on the right, that's ring number two. And then we want to, again, twist it around and we come up through rings three and four on top of the ring that we placed previously. 
and then close your ring. So your work currently looks like this. And that's about as difficult as the whole weave gets. So again, taking up an opened ring. On that ring, we pop on one of our pre-closed rings. So that's ring number one. So we go down through ring number one. The loose ring that we put on in our previous step, that's ring number two. So we come down through the back of that. And then we twist our ring and we come up through rings three and four. So up through the eye there, where rings three and four overlap, making sure, of course, that we're on top of the ring that we placed previously. It's actually not that difficult, Scott, once you get that started it is a little tricky to start but um, generally and it's it's just a really easy weave once you get into the habit so it's half Persian four and run obviously because your one ring goes through four rings so here's one we're going down through one down through two that second ring is the loose ring from the previous step okay so down through one down through two. We then want to twist this around because we want to go up through the rings now. And we want to go up through rings three and four where they overlap. Through the eye there, if you can see that, where the ring is going through the eye. Making sure it stays on top of the ring that we put in previously. And then close it up. Does that make sense, Scott? Okay, so we're left here with that loose ring that we added. So we make sure that stays, that just stays there. It won't move out of position, that's fine. Taking up another opened ring, oh, not punching yourself with it. Okay, popping on a pre-closed ring. <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm not sure how to make it any easier. <laughs> so we want to go through four rings with our one ring. So this ring that we pop on here is our first ring. This is our second. This is our third this is our fourth these are the three rings here in weave that we'll be dealing with so we go down through the backs of two up through the front of two so you've got one that we've gone through the back of two that we've gone through the back of and then we twist it around so that we can bring our weave up through the front and we go through the eye where the rings three and four overlap basically we go through the eye, of, oh, I'm trying to look around the camera and keep it on screen and watch the screen. Okay, through the eye formed by rings three and four. So here's rings three and four. These two here that I'm touching with my finger. And you can see I've gone through that eye. And then once you've gone through there, making sure you're sitting on top of the previous ring, that you're not scooping it up, going through it in any way. You don't go through that previous ring. It just lays on top. You close it up and bobs your uncle. I don't think that there is a left and right leaning half version four and one. I could be wrong about that. It's not like three in one, as far as I know. Um, but like any weave, there's, there's, you know, a couple of, most weaves, there's a couple of different ways of weaving things. And half Persians seem to, um, that seems to be a common thing with half Persians. 
So again, with this technique, we go through rings one, that's the loose ring that we've put on. Ring two is the loose ring from the step before. We've gone down through the back of that. We turn our ring just a little bit and we come up through rings three and four through the eye of three and four. Making sure we sit on top of the previous rings. We don't accidentally, you know, we don't want to come in and pick it up like that. We just want to come in and sit over the top of it. And then close it up. Um, it could make a good border for the blanket, Wes. I think you're right there. And one of the ways of starting half Persian 4-in-1 is to do it on a piece of European 4-in-1. So I think that all works. So again, just the way um, going down through one ring, down through two rings, give it a little twist, come up through rings three and four. Okay, just make sure when you come through the back that you haven't scooped up that back ring like that. We don't want that to happen. We just want to sit on top of that previous ring. It's really sweet in um, the square rings, Jenny. It looks fabulous in the square stainless. Chris has a square stainless a bracelet. Um, oh, he's taken it off so I can show you. So this is a uh, square stainless, half Persian. I've made a couple of these for for the male folk of my family. It's absolutely beautiful and it has lovely weight in it. Gorgeous. There you go. Thanks. All right, and I've got one more prepped ring here, so I will do it one more time. Otherwise, is everybody okay with? with that explanation. So down through ring one and two and up through, twist it and up, back up through rings three and four, laying on top of the previous ring that we placed. It makes a really, really nice uh, man's bracelet, to be honest. Although watching Chris now try to do it out. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could move my camera quickly. <laughs> um, Dawn, I used to have the square stainless. I don't know if there's any in stock anymore. As I said, we're getting rid of... Um, or selling out of those of our current stock of those particular ones. I don't have the website up in front of me, so I don't know if it's there. Um, but it's the from memory, I think it's the K size that does the half Persian four in one. So if it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it may not be there for some months yet. Okay, so is everybody good with that then? Does anybody need me to still keep weaving or are we fine? Because I'm happy to keep weaving. As I said, I love, oh, I'm just taking the colour off that. Look at that. That's not good. <clears throat> All right, is everybody good? I don't know. No one's, no one's talking to me. It's out of stock, yeah. As I said, we're running that stock down. Yeah, we can't get them in anymore. Um, look, quite frankly, we've been having trouble getting that particular uh, stock from that particular supplier, which is why we're running their stock down. And hopefully um, we'll be importing the wire in because we can't get anything like this in Australia. Uh, we'll be importing the wire in and making it ourselves. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, we've, we've had awful luck trying to get it, to get it in. All right. So if everybody's cool with that. Yep. Everyone's good. Beautiful. Thanks guys. All right. Well, I'll put this over to the other camera then.
There we go. Great. Yeah, look, I'm really sorry if, if we don't have any of the, the K in stock. Um, it is the size that we sell the most of. But um, hopefully you slipped. <laughs> oh, so all I did was punch my camera, Carol. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you found the square ring in your stash, stash Julie. Uh, yeah, so we will hopefully be bringing all that on board, um, but we have to import the wire in first. Um, so this is not something that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. It'll be uh, in the latter half of the year. Okay, so does anybody else have any questions or anything like that? As I said, have a bit of fun with the sizing. Um, I think you'll be able to do the two colours in aluminium and most of what we've got available. If you work in the precious metals, it is absolutely sexy in silver and gold fill. It's a beautiful combination. I'm a fan of the two colours, but it also looks really nice in the straight colours um, and the 16 gauge quarter inch in the AA will, will get that for you. All right, so I don't, do we have anything else we want to talk about, babes? Mail club is still open for three days for those that want to sign up. And other than that, um, oh, computer dies. Oh, Deb, that's not good. That's not <laughs> we whisper very, well, actually, we say a prayer every time I have to turn my computer off. <laughs> So, yes. Yes, I hope everybody has a great Mother's Day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we've got, happy Mother's Day. We've got a double celebration going on in Aussie Mail headquarters. Our youngest is turning 13, so he's uh, officially going to be a smelly teenager tomorrow. Um, so we've got double celebration tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. We will have cakes and frizzies, and it's going to be a nice day. So this, I think, is our second time we've celebrated together, Mother's Day and his birthday. So it's all very sweet. So, yes, happy Mother's Day to everyone. If, um, well, happy Mother's Day to all the mums, be it human babies, fur babies, male babies, I don't know. <laughs> everyone will have a relaxing day. <laughs> I hope everyone has a relaxing day. Entering into my local show. Okay, cool. Very cool. And to the daddies that are mummies, that's true. That is true. Shop system on our website. Christopher, you're the shop, you're the systems person. Ah, uh, CS card. Which hopefully will be will be changing soon. Hopefully, well, in a few. When I say soon, ah, it's all relative. I think this current one took us nine months to develop, didn't it? Yeah. From when we started to when we finally released it, it was nine was months. Slow on yeah, it things. was nine months in development to release the current version that we've got, and we've had that one for a couple of years now. Um, but we will be moving on to something else. We just have a few issues with CS Cart that's driving us insane, so we um, will be upgrading to something else, hopefully. All right, and I hope everybody who is up to the um, that are doing the quilt is having luck, and that you're not naughty like my husband, and you've actually started. I wasn't going to tell them. <laughs> I'll top you in. Thank you. <laughs> you got to market tomorrow, Wes. So I hope all the mums come out and get spoiled, and they get lots of mail. Yeah, that would be you. lovely. Good night, Margaret. Have a great day tomorrow. Thanks for popping in and joining us. The first. Okay, beautiful. All right, I think that might be it. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. So next week is the B2 weave, which <laughs> half of you look like you've already done anyway. Um, does that mean I don't have to turn up? <laughs> Do I have to not turn up next week since most of them have done the B2 weave anyway? Oh. <laughs> I have a holiday. 
Uh, yeah, so that'll be next week. Um, and I guess we'll catch up with you on Aussie Mailers through the week as much as we can. Yeah, who are you seeing? Oh, Danny. Danny. Yeah, give us a hug. Give her a hug from a Senate. Night, Megan. Night, Dawn. All right, guys. I think we'll call it quits now. And uh, we will catch up with you next week. So thanks very much. Night, Lisa. Oh, morning, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your Saturday, Lisa. <laughs> I'm going to go and curl up in front of the fire, I think. Although I do have a tutorial to write, so maybe I won't be coiling up in front of the fire. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for joining us. And